Meanwhile, Jeff, it's uh, it's good to have you here. Uh, I know you're not a guy that uh, that likes to come out, and, and uh, you're pretty silent at times, right? Yeah, I keep a low profile on purpose. Yeah, I've I've never you know 43, 40. This will be the forty fourth year covering baseball. Like rumors about the Rockies never surface. Mm -hmm. How do you keep it so quiet? Um, well, I think internally, uh, you know, it's part of who we have uh, who we have become. Um, you know, so it's an intentional thing. You know, it just doesn't happen by accident. Um, you know, and there's some there's some in, there's some choice and some intentionality in what we do, and a um, couple primary reasons, right? Nothing real mysterious or real. Um, you know, shocking or, or out of bounds, really. It's more of uh, one, it's how part of my belief system in terms of representing the organization and representing the people in the organization um, in, in trying to do the best work that I can do for them. Um, that's how I look at it. So that's a big thing. Um, you know, the, the second big thing is energy and time, you know, and there's so much to do in, in these jobs that we have, uh, in the front office that if I spend all my time or a lot of my time um, chasing rumors or being involved in, you know, media born or media fed, whether it's local or national stuff, uh, that's taken time away from other more, in my opinion, more productive things that we need to do in order to get ourselves ready for the season or, um, or do our jobs well. So, um, you know, I think that uh, th there's a certain level of comfort that that brings also to, you know, it takes pressure off of, of other people in the office where they, they know what, you know, how we operate and they don't, uh, you know, they know I'm, I'm, I'm paying attention to it. And they know that, um, you know, it's when, when they get chased down or they get, you know, pressured to do certain things, they just say, hey, look, I can't do that, man. You know, it, it, it just takes some of the pressure off. But I mean, the other thing is you get the other teams not to talk about it, too, or it can no. leak out there. Well, and, and, you know, I mean, that's easier. Sometimes that's easier said than done. I mean, there are certain, there are certain teams or just certain people that have different beliefs or feelings on you know, this whole area. And, and that's okay. I mean, that's, I don't, it's not like, you know, we rail against those teams or those people. It's just, um, you know, when it comes to relationships in the game, when it comes to in the industry, when it comes to um, trying to um, share ideas and, uh, and get things done, in my opinion, when when you can trust the person, whether it's a it's a front office member of another team or whether it's an agent, um, you know, the, the the free share of ideas can happen most easily when things are kept on the down low and things are kept quiet. And um, when I don't have to worry about Charlie Blackman's agent, you know, spilling every idea that we had while we were negotiating Charlie's long-term deal, then we can talk about things and we can talk about easy things. We can talk about difficult things. We can talk about, you know, things that might be important to Charlie that I know that, you know, we know he's not going to want to have public um, and vice versa. And so, um, you know, I just think it, it, it makes everything more simple. Um, and usually when it's more simple, things can actually get done.